with some Cushcore Pro 27.5 tire inserts to install today. Alright, so last night I put the uh, new valve core in. I'm just going to let the air out. I wanted to check to make sure that it held pressure overnight. And it did. Cleaned up the uh, rims, got the old sealant out, etc. Stop my brake in a bead. There's two. Use the Pedro's levers because they're a little thicker, a little heavier. They do a really good job. I'll just help pop this off. So, we have the giant TRX-1 carbon wheels, and um, as long as you're careful, you can use a, a plastic uh, tire lever. Works just fine. I'll show you the uh, new insert uh, valve that came. I don't know if it's seeable or not, but just a little guy. I have the air holes pointing to either side of the rim, and it seems to be fine. push core on the wheel. So what I've done, my idea anyway, it is there's these little slits in the push core. I'm going to put that really close to the, uh, the valve. Maybe it'll help with putting air in it. So anyways, get that thing close. Okay, now we're going to put it on the ground. And take a hammer, a little mini sledgehammer, or a maul, put, that on, put the wood end on your rim, and you can step on it for support, and then you're going to pull this cush core right up. in place. Okay. There we go. It's on the rim. Next step is the tire. Okay. So next step is putting a tire on the wheel. Now, uh, so a lot of people do get confused with which rotational direction the tire goes. So the tire Everything that has all your writing, so the branded tire and the type, are all going to be on the drivetrain side. So if you think about it, whenever people take pictures of their bikes for magazines, you always see the drivetrain. So that's where your labels are going to be. And that's how you know you have a tire on the rim right. So anyways, I like to line up my valve stem with the Maxxis logo, just so that way it's easy to find. When I go to pump, put some air in my tires, and you slide this thing in to the casing, tire casing. Okay. Now she's in the tire. This is the fun part. So, what you do is you start getting some of your bead in. So you're going to push down on your tire and the cush core, and you're going to roll the cush core back 
and it lets your bead of your tire go in. Side. Same thing this side, push down on the tire, roll it back. And what we're trying to do is get the actual bead of the tire into the center channel of the rim so that way we have the most room possible to be able to get the tire fully seated. So go ahead, don't worry about how far in your tire is going, get it all the way in the center of that center of the rim. pretty far, which we're pretty close right there, what we can do is use a set of tire levers start going at it. she's pretty tight so we take the end of our tire lever here and we're going to push the tire further in best we can now a good way to do this is to take a garbage can put it on the ground put your wheel in it now you can easily take your tire and try to push it back in further into the rim. What we're doing is we're giving ourselves extra space to fully seat the tire at the end of it. And you can do this by hand as well. Which might be a little easier on the other side with just doing it by hand. Now give it a little wiggle. Now let's see what else we can bite up here. And push it down a little bit more over here too. If you can see the line on the edge of your tire, that usually denotes that you have the tire in the rim hooks, then you know you don't have enough tire in. Let's keep pushing it in, giving yourself more space be able to pull that tire around the final little bit at the end. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so now, let's see here. Yeah, that made a big difference. Let me get a good bite on it. Maybe the last one. Yep. Look at that. And then when you're real close, just take it, roll it with your hand. We're in. That is one side of the tire. Okay, now on the other. Same idea. You can start seating it by hand, and we're going to use the trash can again. It can be a big trash can if you don't want to bend over like I am. But I'm not taking the garbage out of the trash can to do this. <laughs> Alright. Same kind of thing. Get that out of the way. So, roll and tuck. Okay, I'm going to start up by the valve stem just so. I'll have to mess with that later. Down, roll, tuck. Roll, tuck. Try to get in there as far as you can because it's just going to end up helping you out at the end. Tuck. Side here, so just do this real quick. I'm going to tuck that back in. Okay, now we're getting close. So, 
I'm use a little bit of tire lever and a little bit of the same thing we did before. Just want to get it nice and snug first. So, nice and snug. Starting to give you problems, put it in the trash can. Okay. Same thing again, we're going to push that the line that denotes that you're set up in your hook, right? We're going to push that towards the inside center of the rim. Again. close again try to bite this slide little bits in at a time <laughs> it's never easy. Okay, we're pretty much at the end. So, let's get it in here. He kind of helped the tire on his last little bit. Pop that out. Here's the last little bit. There we are. Push quarters in the tire. Okay. This looks terrible, but we're in. Next step is to get these uh, tubeless tires pumped up. So I have a Amazon special four pump. And it should do it. Okay, so it is absolutely possible to pump up a tubeless tire without using one of those very expensive supercharger cans that they sell. <laughs> Regular floor pump off of Amazon will work just fine. Just did it with a brand new Minion DHF um, 2.6 inch front tire I picked up yesterday. Brand new, sealed no problem as well. So. Um, the reason why I put air in these before adding sealant is just I like to make sure that my valve core, I did a good job on it, it's not leaking, and I like to get the bead locked into the tire. So what I'll do is wait a little bit, I'll put a little, take a little bit of air out of the tire, and then I'll inject four ounces of sealant in each tire, repump it up, spin it a couple times, she's good to go. So anybody can do this installation with minimal tools. If you have a great day and uh, you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank